There's a sense of anticipation at this staging post in southern Israel. An order to move on Gaza may well be coming more slowly than some anticipated. But these combat troops look ready for war, not a prolonged wait. Our brigade is about to maneuver uh, wherever needed through, through the sectors that we, be, that we be need, need, need to, to go through. The officer didn't comment on any delay, but said his troops were keeping busy. Actually, the time that have been given us has made us much more prepared, much more efficient, much more lethal toward Hamas, that uh, if we'll be needed to go, to go inside. When we have the sign, we'll be able to go and do whatever we need, we need to do. The Israeli military allowed Sky News to film at this site, but we were restricted about what we could show because of security reasons. These soldiers are waiting for the order to move forwards. They know if they go to Gaza, it will be dangerous, but they say they're not scared. Some have lost friends or relatives in the October the 7th attack, and they say they have no choice but to fight. The troops won't just be thinking about the threat posed to them by Hamas. It's also about the safety of more than 200 hostages. Is there a delay in the military manoeuvring because you need to take into consideration the wider repercussions? So we know that had we entered the Gaza Strip on the first or second or third day, we would have fallen into deadly traps. And that would have meant also probably very important losses in terms of Israeli soldiers. So we are taking our time. But soldiers can't be kept at this level of readiness indefinitely. Here on the ground, at least, it feels like the moment to move is surely approaching. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Southern Israel.